Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to design steel structures in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocone design standard. In this video, we're going to be focusing on adding your design commands to your input file and reviewing and verifying your results. Now, in this particular model, we're at the point in the workflow where we specified our steel design code and all of our appropriate steel design parameters for our analysis. We are now ready to invoke a design command. To add your design command according to the currently selected design code, we're going to come down to the steel design dialog and click on the commands button. Within the design commands dialog, we're going to find a few different commands uh, that we could use for design. The first command is a check code command. This will instruct STAD Pro to check whether the provided section properties of the member are adequate. It's basically a pass or fail workflow. Next, we're going to also find a select command. Now, the select command will instruct STAD Pro to select the least weight section based on specifications of the desired design code. So you can think of this option as more of an optimize or an optimization workflow. For this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on just performing a basic code check in STAD Pro. So once you select your design command, we'll click the Add button and then we'll click Close. And if we scroll down in the Steel Design dialog, we can find our check code command. And again, it has the question mark next to it, meaning that we do need to assign it to particular members in the model. Now we're going to assign this command to all of the section properties that were assigned through the sections database. To do that, we're going to go to the select tab in the ribbon toolbar and select our members based on property name. I'm going to select all of the IPE sections, the SHS sections, and all of my angles. Now STAD Pro will be able to provide stresses and forces with any of the members prismatic section properties or steel plates in the model, but it will only perform a design on those members that were assigned through the sections database. Once we've selected our sections, we'll go ahead and click the close button and then we'll assign to selected beams. Now that our design command has been added to the model, we're ready to perform our design. To start this process, we're going to go to the Analysis and Design tab in the ribbon toolbar and click on your Run Analysis command. You will be asked to save your model before proceeding. Now in STAD Pro, the analysis and design will happen all at the same time, just under that one command. Now after the design is complete, the STAD Analysis and Design dialog will indicate, first of all, if you have any errors or warnings. If you do have any errors or warnings in your model, it will be important to go to the output file to review that information before proceeding to see if there's anything that you need to change in your particular model to make sure that your analysis and design are valid. For our particular model, we don't have any errors or warnings, so we're ready to proceed on to review the results. Now there's a couple different areas we can go to in STAD Pro for reviewing results of designs. We can go to the output file or also the post-processing mode. Let's go ahead and start with the output file to get familiar with that area of the program. Once in the output file, we're going to see that our results have been organized with a steel design item over in the left hand pane. Now this section, if we scrolled on down, will contain the results of the code check command. This command checked the strength of each member according to the code requirements of the Eurocode that we selected. Now within each area, we're going to be able to see its status of design. So we're going to either see pass or fail. We'll also see our interaction ratio. So basically anything with an interaction ratio less than 1.0 will be passed. Everything over 1.0 will be indicated as failing. If you would like to quickly scan through your output file for failing members, you can search for this word fail by using the find icon. So here I'll ask the program 
to find anywhere that it might say fail. And here I found a section that did fail the code check. And here's my interaction ratio. Now, in addition to reviewing the results in the output file, you can also go to the post processor. To access the post processor from the analytical modeling mode, we're going to go to the workflow pane in the left hand side and select the post processing icon. In the results setup dialog, we'll go ahead and click OK, which will bring us over the post processor. Now, through the post processor, you can see a variety of results, including um, all of your analysis results, which will include things like beam stresses, beam member end forces, you can see nodal displacements, uh, and nodal reactions as well. For this workflow, we're focusing on the results of our steel design. To access the steel design area, we're going to go to the layouts icon, which is over in this view results uh, set of tools within the results tab of the ribbon toolbar. So we're going to go to the layouts area and then select our beam results for our utilization layout. Now within this area, we're going to see a lot of steel design results. So on our screen, the first thing we're going to see is that our model has been color coded, either green, red, or blue. Any member that's in green means that it passed the code check. Its interaction ratio is less than 1.0. Any member in blue means that it's currently failing. A failing member would be an interaction ratio between 1 and 1.5. Anything that is in red or any member that is in red means that it's an extreme failure. Its interaction ratio is greater than 1.5. And finally, anything that's kind of grayed out would mean that a design was not performed. So we can see that for some of the members that we didn't assign a code check command to. Now to recall uh, how these different categories are set up, we can go to the View tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and go, go to the Label Settings area. And if I went to the Design Results tab, I could see those three different categories uh, on this screen. So this will show me what my design results are. So the green is from 0 to 1, blue is from 1 to 1.5, and red is greater than 1.5. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Steel Design dialog that's over in the data area. Now within this dialog, I'm going to see a lot of key pieces of information. The first thing is I'm going to see my analysis and my design property. Now for this model, since we did a code check, your analysis and your design property are actually the same. Uh, when they would be different is if you performed an optimization. So if we performed an optimization, we would have the initial size we assigned to the model and then the new optimized size that it's suggesting for us. We didn't do that. We're just asking for pass or fail with a code check workflow today. In addition to that, we have our actual interaction ratio. So anything with an interaction ratio greater than 1.0 would be a failing member. Now you can select different members if you're kind of curious of where that member is located. You could just highlight it over in the design results area or even highlight a group. Looks like all of those are having um, are struggling. And you can see where they are on your screen to give you a better idea. In addition to that, if we went to the failed members tab up here, all of the failed members would be indicated with their interaction ratio. So it looks like here, those are a couple of my columns. And if I look down here, looks like I have a couple beams that are having uh, some struggles as well. Now the last thing we could do also while in the post processor, if I go to the select tab in my ribbon toolbar, I can select by property name and I do have an option to here to select my failed members. So here, any member that was color coded in blue or red will be highlighted on your screen as a failed member. Now, what we can see is that several girders and columns are currently failing. So with a code check workflow, it would be our responsibility as an engineer to go back to the analytical modeling mode and to change those members and keep performing this iteration or this trial and error process until we have section sizes that pass all the code check requirements. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my analytical modeling mode. I'll go to my properties area, and then I could change some of my sections. I noticed that some of my columns were having a problem. I'm going to go ahead and just change all of them. So to do that, I could just double click 
on that property and I can select another one. It's going to automatically bring me to the same database that I used to assign that section. So within this European steel table, I'm going to select the square hollow option and I'm going to select a 250 by 16 HSH. And what we're going to do is just click change. We'll click yes and you can see that that section has been updated. Let's go ahead and do that same thing with the IPE 300. I'm just going to double click here and then I'm going to select an IPE 400 instead. Once I find the section I want to assign, I'm going to click Change and then we'll click Close. Now once we're done with that, we're going to reanalyze the model. And you're going to want to keep doing this process until you achieve a passing design, meaning that we have no no longer have any failed members. Now this time I'm going to go directly to the post-processing mode to review my results graphically. Again, I'm going to select my layouts icon and go to the utilization area. Looks like everything's passing. To confirm that, I can select the failed members tab in the steel design dialog and I don't have any failing members any longer. So at this point, this would complete my process for designing a steel structure in STAD Pro Connect Edition using the Eurocode as my design standard. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.